Horses, history, and hospitality are just a few of the compelling features that make Aiken County, South Carolina an inviting destination to visit and the ideal place to call home. Summertime or not, the living is easy in Aiken County. Anchoring the third of four regions comprising the South Carolina National Heritage Corridor, stretching 240 miles along the state's western edge from Oconee County to Charleston, Aiken County's closely guarded traditions are complemented by its centers of education and high technology. Relax with friends over a home-brewed ale at the Aiken Brewing Company. Tee off at one of the world-class golf courses. Pull an oar on the only Olympic-sized rowing and training facility in South Carolina. Hook a largemouth bass on the Savannah or the South Edisto Rivers. Hike a trail in the nation's largest urban forest. Or learn to make candles, spin yarn, or make old-fashioned toys. This and much more can be experienced in Aiken County. Beautiful downtown Aiken has a lot to offer. We have 11 restaurants in the two block area. We have a community theater. We have Center for the Arts. It's a great place to walk and enjoy the uh, shops downtown. We have uh, horse uh, activities. We have golfing. We have um, walking tours. We have bus tours, everything that can show you history about the uh, Aiken County and the city of Aiken. Downtown Aiken has been very um, instrumental in its streetscape and making downtown walking friendly. It's a great place to come and visit. Relations between locals and visitors have improved dramatically since 1540 when Hernando de Soto's treasure hunting expedition found its way across the Savannah River, terrorizing the natives, kidnapping the queen of the Cofachaqui tribe and stealing what valuables he could find. An area of firsts, Fort Moore in the southwest corner of the county was the first British garrison in the Carolinas. When completed in 1833, the Charleston to Hamburg Railroad was the longest rail line in the world, extending 136 miles from what is now North Augusta to the coast in Charleston. It introduced steam-powered locomotives to America, leading-edge technology of the day. Today, Aiken County is still home to high technology. The newest addition to the Savannah River site, established in 1950, is the Center for Hydrogen Research. Established to coordinate hydrogen research among the Savannah River National Laboratory, universities, and industry to develop new products and services for the emerging hydrogen economy. The significance of the Hydrogen Research Center is to provide the opportunity for the rest of the world to have access and to collaborate with the unique expertise at the Savannah River National Laboratory. This laboratory has been conducting research in hydrogen in over 50 years and we have uh, an expertise that's really unique, unique in terms of the number of scientists and the longevity of the work that's been done in this area. Truly a world-class facility, world-class expertise, and it's a gateway, a gateway for access uh, to this laboratory. Aiken County is the heart of Carolina horse country. It has been the training ground for numerous Kentucky Derby, Preakness, and Belmont winners. Aiken County is home to the Thoroughbred Racing Hall of Fame and Museum featuring artwork, racing silks, trophies, and other memorabilia of the thoroughbred sport. Established in 1882, Whitney Field is the oldest polo field in continuous use in the United States. 19 more polo fields are within 15 miles of downtown Aiken. Horses are a common sight along the county's roads and streets. In fact, we break for horses bumper stickers are taken seriously here. Horses have the right of way in the city of Aiken. When not riding your steed through Aiken, take on one of the county's 13 18-hole golf courses. The private Palmetto Golf Club, the fifth oldest course in the country, is here. Or try your hand at disc golf on the Greenway. Water plays a pivotal role in Aiken County's quality of life. The Savannah, as well as the north and south forks of the Edisto Rivers flow through it providing the recreational opportunities for which the Carolinas are famous.
just a few inches shy of being considered a lake, Langley Pond is one of the top rowing facilities in the United States and the only Olympic-sized facility in South Carolina. It's a popular training center for competitive teams and the site of the U.S. Rowing Association's annual Southeast Regional Championships held in early summer. This is the 12th annual Southeast Regional Championships of the United States Rowing Association. We've been at Langley Pond all 12 of those years. Uh, we like the course. It's a, a great site, formerly the site of the national team speed orders and, and national team trials. It's a fully buoyed course. We draw people from Florida, Tennessee, North Carolina, and some from up in the D.C. area and further north would like to come and race on this venue because it's such a great site for rowing. Within five or six miles of the site, we have plenty of accommodations, restaurants, entertainment, and other activities that all the rowers enjoy while they're here. History lurks around every corner in Aiken County. Available for touring, the 1859 mansion built by South Carolina Governor James Henry Hammond is the showplace of Red Cliff State Park. The circa 1860 Banksia Mansion and the 1931 Winter Colony Mansion of New York horseman Richard Howe have been connected to house the Aiken County Historical Museum. Among its 32 bedrooms and 15 baths are exhibits tracing the entire history of Aiken County. A history which also includes the Battle of Aiken, one of the last Confederate victories of the Civil War that is celebrated each February by more than 1,200 reenactors performing for more than 15,000 spectators. There are seven hospitals in the area, a school system that's more than competitive with the best in the country, and the University of South Carolina Aiken is consistently named one of the top colleges in the country. Visitors and locals alike enjoy the quiet and beauty of the nearly 1,100 acres of the Aiken State Natural Area. Another popular getaway is Hopeland's Gardens with its well-kept colorful landscaping. When it comes to places to eat or retreat overnight, Aiken County has it all. Whether enjoying the Greenway in North Augusta, shopping in historic downtown Aiken, canoeing one of the county's rivers, or simply taking a leisurely late afternoon stroll. Aiken County, South Carolina is the only place to be.